Hey guys, so I know this is a little late, uh, but welcome back to my channel. Um, if you aren't already subscribed, hit that button. And as you see in the title of this video, today we are going to unbox my boxy charm. Now this was <laughs> a month that kind of irritated a lot of people. I'll tell you why as we go on in the video. Um, and I'll tell you how I feel about what I received in the box. And I'll show you a few things, a couple of things I'm not going to show you, but, <clears throat> or not show you how to use them. So I'm going to show you what I got, tell you how I feel about it, and demo a couple of things for you. So uh, let's get started. Okay guys, so first things first, everyone's going to ask this. So I'm just going to tell you my weight was 0.7. People think that the weight of this box like determines what you're going to get. And I'm going to tell you right now, maybe it does some months you can kind of tell, but it really doesn't because I was told if it was under, you know, 0.7 and under, I was going to get this. And if it was over 0.7, I was going to get something else. And that was completely off. A lot of people, and especially I think with this weight, it's like right in the middle. So there's really no way to know what's going to come in your box. So, this is the box it comes in, and like y'all probably know already, it's got this nice foam packaging, and it has got this card. It says that I have variation number three. Now, this is what tells you, like, what you actually are going to get, is this little number on the card. It does not match your tracking number, because my tracking number ended in a four. So maybe it's a coincidence in some months it does for some people, but it does not do that for people every single time. So we're just gonna dive right into this box and uh, I'm gonna tell you all my gripes and I'm gonna tell you what I love. So the first thing we've got <clears throat> is this Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. It is a pore perfecting exfoliator. Now this in itself is worth $58. I'm not usually a skincare person, but I did just run out of face wash. My face has been breaking out through here and just up here all over the place. So I needed a new face wash. This is super expensive, has awesome reviews. I think I heard that it's not cruelty free. That's not a really big deal to me. Um, while I don't approve of cruelty products, I'm still going to use this face wash because it came in my box and I'm going to see how well it works. Ooh. And it is sealed very well. So if there's any question about these being contaminated or something, people always bring up stuff like that. It is not. It smells kind of minty, uh, very refreshing. Seems like a solid product. Like I said, retails for $58. So you only paid $21. So you've already got more than double what you paid. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing I'm going to show y'all is this dirty little secret. It's like an eyeshadow stick. Whoop, that is upside down. And I do like this brand. Um, this is in the color Illusion. Now, while I do know I like this brand because, you know, I've gotten a few of their products and they're really great. I don't see myself ever using this, but... I'm going to give y'all a quick swatch just so you can see this retails for 14 and that's what it looks like kind of a peachy almost orangey undertone a little bit of metallic in it not bad probably won't use it but not bad okay so here's the product that I'm going to grab about because the only thing I hate about BoxyCharm is that I can't like give them my preference on things like Ipsy's only samples. So yes, BoxyCharm is a thousand percent better. However, we were going to get a Becca highlight this month. Never in my life will I use this. This is the liquid shimmering skin perfector highlighter retails for 41. Now that's almost double the box too. But my thing is, once I put my foundation on, I just don't want to layer a liquid over it. Thank God groups exist out there, and the CEO is in it. Or I think he's the CEO, Yosef. Anyone who's in Boxy Babes knows who I'm talking about. I can 
and swap this with somebody. That's wonderful. I'm not even going to take it out because I've already posted to swap this for the powder version. That is the only thing keeping me sane right now because I'm still filming and it's still my birthday today. It won't be by the time you see this, but my heart was broken because I just didn't want the liquid. And I'm being such a brat right now because this is still a great value, probably a wonderful product, just not for me. Yeah, I don't know. But so, so far we are totaled up to $113, I believe. We still got two products to go. So the next two things we got go together. We got a Jante Blue lip liner. I got mine in Spice. And we got a Tarte, Tarteiste lip paint. And I got Pillow Talk, which everybody's complaining about because they hate the color. I'm really pale, so maybe I'll like the color. I don't know. I'm going to keep it because I hoard liquid lipsticks. And I'm probably going to see if anybody's going to sell the ones I have from this box because... I like to keep some liquid lipsticks on deck for any kind of mood I'm in. So I'm going to swatch both of these for you on my hand. And then I'm going to go ahead and put them... Ooh, I think I just almost killed the lip liner. I'm going to put them on my lips in a second so you can see how they look on. This is what this looks like in the packaging. It actually looks... I'm upside down again. It looks a lot darker. So I don't really know why people are complaining. I mean, I guess if you're a darker skin tone probably would look a little awkward so that's fair but I think for me it might actually be a pretty decent nude so here we have the lip liner and the liquid lip <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and put those on here's the tip of this and it did I like killed it right there but that's okay that's my bad so let's speed this up while I put these on So what I did here is I put the lip liner all over my whole lip and then layered this on top of it. And because I forgot, let me go ahead and tell you, uh, this lip paint is worth 20. That brings the total up to 133. And this is worth five, bringing the total of a $21 box up to like $139. My math might be a little off, but I think that's right. Yeah, I don't know. But either way, you're getting like six times the value in this box. So I'm always gonna be like a ride or die, boxy charm is my favorite thing in the whole world. However, all I wanted was a pest powder, but I'm gonna get it, so it's okay. No worries there, just gonna have to pay a little bit of shipping. It'll be fine. But these are all the products. Um, I think this lippy is a little light. I think if I hadn't put the lip liner on under it, it would not have worked at all. Still not 100% sure that it's working, but it's not that bad. But taking into consideration, I am so pale. Like, I've, I've never had a, a real complexion. I don't tan. I, I can lay in the sun for like five hours and I'm going to burn and turn white again. So for me, this light lip color is perfectly fine. I love a good nude lip. It's got a little bit of an orangey tint to it. That's one of my favorite things. Um, since I am so pale, this doesn't blend in with my skin or get like a weird orange or darker color. I've seen a lot of people that it's like exactly the same color as their skin or just like this much lighter and it just looks kind of awkward. And they said the same thing, so I'm really not trying to be mean. But um, for a lot of people, this lip color doesn't work. But for me, this is totally fine. So I would have to say that this is a wonderful box. BoxyCharm outdid themselves. I would love to see in the future where if we know there's going to be options, we could like opt in and out of a few of them, especially when it's high price items like this. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, this is an incredible month. I was jumping for joy and so excited that it showed up on my birthday because that was perfect. And now I'm going to let y'all go. Got to get off here and go eat some cake because it's my birthday and today I get cake. So I hope you'll have an amazing day and uh, I'll catch y'all on Tuesday. Bye guys.